Hey everybody, this is King of Elks doing a quick match breakdown between me and Siggy from last year. Let's get into it. First match on sacred ground. Pretty scrappy and gross, but I use this up arrow intentionally just to zone Siggy out and he falls for it. Siggy is very aggressive, so I try to bait him into giving me all of his arrows. Um, trying not to have him put me in a position where he can easily corner me. This is a map that works to my advantage. Here, just again, trying to tank, trying to bait out some arrows. And once I get arrow advantage, I know I can not worry so much about him trying to pin me. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about now is his horizontal attack hypering across. So, trying to keep high ground, and trying to be aware of the wrap. So here he comes down on the wrap, and again, I'm using that arrow down there as bait. As he comes across trying to go for that arrow, I catch him on a either failed input or a stagger, or just a messed up dodge. The one thing I do a lot is I try and bait an initial arrow if I have high ground and then use the wall as a way to descend quickly into a boop. So they're just catching him by surprise by approaching, hitting the wall and immediately sliding down into a position that's difficult for him to uh, counter attack. Here again, trying to bait, trying to use Tinks. But now, Siggy holding mid, and there, just a input error on my part. Just getting caught in a double arrow. Siggy being aggressive makes it difficult, but if I know that he's going to use that horizontal space, I can try and mess up his timing by a few arrows just to zone him out and uh, again he's trying to keep the aggression up and I get him baited out. Miracling is really important because you can keep the, your aggression up. Um, so here Siggy's got arrow advantage, he knows he can go in and that miracle allows him to keep the pressure up and quickly respond uh, with an easy kill once I get staggered. Changing your mind is the worst thing in Towerfall because that indecisiveness is when you're no longer having a good uh, read on the situation and good aggressive opponents will capitalize like that. The map like this where there's really not a lot of coverage and it's pretty much just you know a, a vertical slog with one wrap, um, all you're trying to do there is maintain whatever resource advantages you have. So in this case, I'm just trying to get a tank off, but I'm also trying to hold high ground, and it ends up paying off for me. One of the worst things that can happen is getting your bubble easily popped. So, so here, Siggy's got that advantage, but just that tank throws him off because he felt like he had really a sizable advantage here. More arrows, more everything, but Getting that bubble tanked, you start thinking and second guessing, and easy time to go in and aggress. Input error is the biggest problem in tower fall. Coming in late here, I shoot way too late to zone and give up all my positioning. Just dumb. Not much to say here. Why come across when there's no air advantage? Getting the timing right on the bubbles is one of the hardest things. Especially when, you know, you're at parity. Now it's like you're trying to get something going, but bubbles are so OP. Here maybe just Siggy needs to get out, try and tank as he's going away. Treasure eyes, as Zekmo says, worst thing you can have. Just getting caught up there makes your movement predictable. Usually when the power-ups spawn, they create that height issue where you have to reach extra high.
Here we're both trying to hold center and just dumb of me here to get frozen out. Again, Siggy is able to continue to aggress because of that miracle and I didn't really have a plan or an answer there. Again here, tilted because I hit that um, block and just got easily staggered. So again, a mental mistake results in an easy kill. Playing on KC, resources are even more important, in my opinion, just because of the nature of how much uh, changes in the map. Here, just two really good bomb arrows. Both players thinking exactly the same thing, and you have to say to yourself, well, like, we'll take that because I had a good shot and so did he. If you're like me and you, your reflexes aren't as good, going into a scrap like this, you need to be much more deliberate. And then here, instead of getting out, you just went into a place with no resources, no egress, no height advantage. It's an easy kill for Siggy. I know Siggy's naturally very aggressive. This is a map with lots of horizontal space where he likes to be. So again, I'm just trying to use arrows to zone, keep him out of my grill, and bait him into something like that where you know, I do have enough arrows to hold my ground here. I know I can get away, and I know he doesn't have enough. So, makes it a pretty good situation for me. Here's Siggy trying to zone me. Trying to deny space, and again, just... You can kind of see his pattern here, that he wants to keep blocking off certain angles and certain options, so that he can get in close. A baited dodge is, in my opinion, almost as good as a stagger. If you can get them to commit to something uh, early, there's not much they can do, and it's an easy kill. Panicking makes you predictable. Desperation makes you predictable. You lose your resources early, or if they have a sizable resource advantage, um, you start to make wrong choices. In this case, I don't have any resources other than the bubble. Siggy's playing patiently, and you can see I don't have a lot of options of where to go. Now I'm just trying to bait out an arrow. But as Siggy approaches and I'm losing any sort of vertical egress, there's not much place for me to go. And I make a stupid decision and just go into what is essentially a hole. Area denial is a huge part of the game. Something I learned getting the crap kicked out of me by k -Polv. Just those initial shots like that can help drastically reduce options and make it easy for you to clean up. Distortion is something I think a lot of people don't use enough of to their advantage. The speed up and slow down of, of this distortion in particular is a great time to be more aggressive or get your opponent to commit to something that will you know be difficult once the speed up happens. So here I mess up two shots, trying to hold high ground and center, and just speed up right at the right time gets me for an easy kill. Koala and kills. If you're not on high ground, don't hold the corner. Bombs are a great way to zone, and I think the more creative you get with them, you can get some pretty easy kills. Here I know he wants to aggress, I know he wants to hold high ground. Bomb's the easy way to get that done. 